unusually warm start to the year at times we're set for a bumper jersey royal potato season Clodagh's travelled to jersey this morning to pick the best of the crop morning morning good morning i am here in the beautiful island of jersey of course where the famous jersey royal potato is grown and being harvested at the moment we are in the height of the season i'm here in one of the fields with two of the farmers who are happen to be father and son phil and Phil, Philip Schofield, um, LeMage. <laughs> so lovely to have you here. Thank you for being with us. So your father and son, yep. you, do you farm together? Yes, we all got a family farm. So I'm the sixth generation of the family and Philip's the seventh. Oh my God. And when, when was the first Jersey Royal um, seed potato planted by your family? I think it would have been in the early 1900s. So wow. a little while ago and we're still planting today. So. Oh my gosh. That would have been your great, 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 Great-grandfather? Yes, something like that, yeah. He, he must be <laughs> smiling down <laughs> from heaven yeah, today, watching you. I mean, that must feel so wonderful to keep the tradition of Jersey World potatoes in your yes, family. Yes, definitely. I say it's something that um, we all, you know, farming's in your blood and we love doing it and we love yeah. growing the Jersey Royals. And yeah. Yeah, hopefully our grandparents are proud and hopefully we'll continue it for the next, I don't know, next 100 years. <laughs> and it's not only the potato that is the tradition in your family, also the name, Phil. Yep. So all of, tell me about that. Well, basically our, our, our family has got a um, history of going back. The eldest son in the family has always been named after their father. There were six Peter Charleses. And then when we got to my generation, there's uh, three Philip Francis oh, now. So, so carrying it on. And there's a new <laughs> Philip on the way. Yes, a new Philip where my son was born about four, six weeks ago now. Congratulations. So. Thank you very much. Has he had his first Jersey World potato yet? Um, uh, not no. yeah, hopefully. <laughs> not, no, not quite yet. He's had his first not. ride in a tractor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so <laughs> yeah. sweet. <laughs> and tell me, what is it that makes the Jersey Royal so iconic? Well, basically, Jersey Royals are special because Jersey is the only place you can grow them. Yeah. And that's why they've got a PDO uh, of origin and makes them like the champagne of potatoes. Um, and then we've got the rich, fertile soils. We've got the south-facing fields. Um, and then all the growers are harvesting early in the morning to get them graded and packed and then out on the boat the same day. So they're in the shops hopefully tomorrow. So it, having a really fresh potato, that's what makes like it tasty. It's like being in a vineyard here. You know, I don't know if people can see this at home, but everything is sloping like vineyards. Is that for the drainage? No, it's, well, you know, we're, we're very lucky in Jersey, the whole island yeah. faces south. So all the aspect of the fields is pretty much south facing. Amazing. So they warm up, they get the sunshine from, you know, early in the morning to late in the day. And that gives us the, um, climatic advantage over Incredible. other places. Which so is... potatoes that have been dug up this morning, like the ones yeah. that I dug up in this morning, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so they will leave here at Jersey on the ferry and they could be in somebody's saucepan tomorrow night. Yeah, but they should be. You know, they'll say we, we start six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Um, they're graded, packed the same day. We've got a boat every night and they arrive in Portsmouth tomorrow morning at about six o'clock. And then they're distributed in the down south. They'll be hopefully in the shops that evening. Oh my so. god! And I've got one other question because then I've got to start cooking. <laughs> so, do you taste the first harvest of the potato at home secretly before you tell anybody? Yes, definitely. Yeah, you I mean, we're them. having the most nights of tea, to be honest. Do every, every evening we'll be eating them. What's your um, favourite way to cook them? Just simply with butter, boiled with butter. It's just and a little bit of salt, and that's perfect. And, and Jersey butter. As well. Jersey, Jersey butter, butter <laughs> yeah. from those beautiful Jersey yeah. cows. Are you hungry? We are, yeah. Will I cook time? you up some lunch? You That'd be great. Indeed. Thank okay. you very much. So I'm going to cook you a tortilla with mint and peas um, using the Jersey Royal potato. But of course, the most iconic, just like Phil and Phil were saying, the most iconic way to cook a Jersey Royal potato is just simply in a little bit of salted water with fresh mint, Jersey butter if you can get it because it's so good and a sprinkle of sea salt over there because they're so beautiful and that nutty flavour is so iconic with the Jersey World potato that you really don't want to overpower it too much but because I've flown all the way here to Jersey I've got to cook something a little bit different with them so I'm going to do a tortilla with mint and peas and I've also put some courgettes in so in here in the pan that I've got going I'm just going to turn it back on I've got some onions sweating down here with Jersey World potato that I've just washed. The skin of the Jersey World potato is so delicious, you do not want to peel the Jersey World potato skin. So I've just peeled them and then I'm sauteing them. Sorry, I didn't peel them. 
<laughs> I just said I just peel them. I didn't peel them. I've just sliced them, um, but left the peel on and let them sweat away in a bit of butter with some sea salt. We've got some lovely Jersey sea salt too. They've got everything on this island. And black pepper and let those cook away a little bit. Then the next thing I'm popping in are courgettes because it gives a lovely bite to it and also green and another little bit of flavour. And it's springtime, so really gorgeous spring vegetables. And I'm just going to saute those away with those and get all that gorgeous jerly royal nutty flavour in there. Okay, now while that's cooking away, I'm going to beat my eggs. So I've got five eggs in a bowl that I'm going to whisk up and get lovely and fluffy. I can tell you, it's like a dream to be out here in Jersey, in the middle of the field where the potatoes are growing, cooking with the potatoes. I mean, it really is. I feel like it's one of the ticks now in my culinary dreams. I've got some peas. These were frozen, just thaw them out. And I'm popping them in to the egg mix. And then I've got some lovely fresh mint. Jersey Royal Potato loves a bit of fresh mint. They just go so well together. I think it's the nuttiness and then that really fresh minty flavour that is just so iconic. I think when anybody thinks of the Jersey World potato, they do think of butter and mint straight away. And then I'm just going to tear that up or you could chop it into small little pieces like this. Lots of lovely pepper in here. Get those little bits in here. Okay, back over to my pan. Make sure those courgettes are cooking down, getting nicely charred. Oh, that smell is so good. A little bit of sea salt and then mix those all around. So this is the mixture for the tortilla base, okay? And what I'm gonna do now is get everything from here and then pop it in here. Okay, so I've got my potatoes, not just any potato, the Jersey World potato, sliced, the onion and the courgette. And then what I'm gonna do is just mix all those around. I'm changing pan because I'm actually gonna cook it in a smaller pan. So just mix all these around, making sure the egg completely coats the potato, the courgette, the onion, the pea, because you want them completely coated so they actually bake in the eggs. Put another tablespoon of olive oil into your pan, like that, and then we swirl it around, like so. And then into the pan it goes. Ooh, we love that sound, sizzle, sizzle. And then what that needs, that needs about five minutes in the pan. And while it's cooking like that, what you want to do with the fork is you just push the side of the egg into the middle and then tip the frying pan to the side. And what that does, it'll make sure that the egg in the center also gets cooked. So we get an even cooking on it. So let that cook away for about five minutes. When it's cooked, what you have to do then is slide it onto a plate. When it's slid onto a plate, you put the frying pan on top of the plate, flip the plate over like that and then cook it for another couple of minutes until it comes out looking like... Da, 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 da. Do we have the drum roll? Da, 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 da. The beautiful tortilla. I can't tell you, while I was cooking away here, it just reminded me, when I was a kid in Ireland, with my brother Jim, we used to go up picking potatoes in the fields in the countryside in Ireland. We used to get 50p to pick a bag of potatoes or five pounds to pick a whole pallet. And being back in this field just brings me back to my childhood, but also brings me forward to a culinary dream of cooking delicious Jersey World potatoes. And this is so beautiful. Look at the peas and the mint and the potato. Phil and Holly, have you tasted your tortilla? Uh, well, um, <coughs> I've got to say, I've just said to Holes, and I'm, you know, I'm not <laughs> exaggerating here, these could be the best potatoes I've ever tasted in, in my whole life. The potato on its... Before we get to the tortilla, the potato on its own in that batter is like... It's so good, I can't stop eating yeah. it. And Phil and Phil. Mm -hmm. well Phil and done. Phil, well because, done. You know, that, these are, <laughs> these are, I'm, I'm sure they must be award winning. They're absolutely stunning. And then the tortilla is lovely as well, Clover. Absolutely delicious. That yeah. mint is so nice in it. It's Aww. lovely. Thank you. Well, I will pass on all your love to Phil and Phil. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you very much indeed. Thank you. And thank tell you. them thank you for passing on the potatoes. Yeah. Mmm. I don't think I've. I've eaten quite so many potatoes in a long time. I'm not giving this plate back. <laughs> you can all fight me for it. Uh, right, for details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our chefs, download the free This Morning app.